Another bitterly cold forecast in store for the island tonight, but even though additional emergency shelter beds are open, some of them are going empty. 75 more beds have been added through the extreme weather protocol. Ten of them went unused last night. Some people are still choosing to sleep on the streets instead. That does not mean, though, that the agencies that are trying to help them are giving up. In fact, they're appealing tonight for your help. A news reporter Maggie Cox joins us now with that. Maggie. Hudson, the forecast is calling for below zero temperatures tonight and for the rest of the week in Victoria with a chance of snow over the weekend. Still, some people choose to sleep outside and they need your help to stay warm. Joey Schindel has been living on the streets for the past four years. He doesn't like sleeping in shelters, so he sleeps close to the ocean, even when the mercury dips below zero. The outside is nice. They don't let us really dig in, though. Like, I just got another blanket. Hopefully, I'll be warm enough tonight. Last night and the night before, pretty pretty sketchy. Today, Schindel, like many people, is at our place, getting coffee, bread, an extra blanket, and some warmth. The, the cold just leaches away your heat. You can't put enough food in there or layers to by nighttime. On any given day, our place is busy providing food and shelter for many people in need. But when it gets this cold, the center plays a particularly important role in these people's lives. There's a lot of friends of mine that are out are outside and I provided one with a tan, extra sleeping bag, and it's still really bad. Oh yes, it's very, very hard, but I feel bad for these people they sleep on the street it takes a heck of a lot of energy at this time just to survive you know um, to survive at this time of year is very very difficult in order to help more people survive agencies such as our place and the salvation army are asking for the public's help in this building there's 150 people when we have the extreme weather protocol we're up to 180 in this building the Salvation Army gave away 50 toques and scarves this morning to people in need, depleting their supply. Now they're asking for your help. They're looking for anything that will keep people warm, blankets, jackets, toques, and socks. Yeah, a lot more people come around when it's colder, looking for, just like you said, those services. Um, our meal times are busier. Um, they're coming and looking for services we offer. I'm challenging everyone in Victoria to buy themselves a gift for Christmas. I challenge everyone to buy themselves a new sleeping bag and give me the old one. In addition to the warm blankets and winter coats, Joey Schindel says Victoria's spirit of kindness is the strongest warmth of all. Even if people are concerned, for me, that's a great blessing. Even if they just care, you know, I mean, most people out here, it's our own situation that put us here. I'm out here by choice. So I don't expect a lot of sympathy. Sorry. Now, Hudson, again, the Salvation Army is looking for anything that will help keep people warm, particularly toques, scarves, and mittens. Donations can be dropped off at the Salvation Army's men's hostel 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and people can drop off sleeping bags to our place Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. All right, Maggie Cox, thank you. Thank you.